is Tyson. It'll be a big one. And for all the movies that we did hear about today, we do know that there are some that have been shelved. Well, they haven't been shelved. Oh. Most things haven't been shelved. Development is a complicated, long-term process. Mm -hmm. Some people, we, we're dealing with scheduling yeah. because obviously really talented people are working. Mm -hmm. So we don't, it, it's often not a shelving. It's, it's just, is it ready? Yeah. <laughs> Man. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the fallout of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Can I just say, I feel bad because that, that young lady was told, hey, you got Kathleen Kennedy and you can interview her. Yeah. And then she comes in and she condescends to you. <laughs> Well, I mean, there are quotes out there about all these films in development. There is a list of the movies that were in development at Lucasfilm that have been shelved or Ryan Johnson was going to do a trilogy. Um, yeah. There are were so many projects, not projects that were announced, but that doesn't mean that they had funding from Disney. If you're going to green light a movie that's going to cost several hundred million dollars, you can't just... I mean, you can you can announce that something is is in development. That doesn't mean that thing is going to be made. I will say that I think Marvel and Kevin Feige have a much better track record when it comes to uh, they're announcing a project that is going to happen and then it doesn't happen. There have been a few. You know, the Inhumans was supposed to happen. It didn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, among others, but they've got a better track record. Certainly, Marvel has moved their schedule around, but more than any other studio. Uh, Lucasfilm has announced projects that just yeah. don't go on to get made. But this film, I want to hear your thoughts, Alan. Um, I mean, who would have thought this movie, and it barely creeped to like 60 million US. You know, I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I think we're all kind of in shock about it. What are your thoughts? And we're going to talk about it more on Friday. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just an indicator that Hollywood has no clue as to how to make a movie for the general audience, you know, and um, you know, it's being said over and over again, it, Disney has become this IP killer. Uh, and it's just sad that how do you, how do you screw up an Indiana Jones movie? Well, they just did. Uh, and it's just, I, I'm just tired of these studios just producing films that they think we want and, and don't even include us. In, in what these movies should be about or, or what we love about these movies. And, uh, you know, you know we we'll talk about Tom Cruise in a moment, but his whole MO was, uh, thank you, fans, this movie's for you. And that, that's not what's happening here. We'll get to that when we our special guests wow. join us. But um, there have been, I've been collecting these. We're going to go over them on Friday. <laughs> I wanted to give a little preview. There are an insane number of memes circling uh just you know being passed around on the internet now about the kind of the fall of lucasfilm and why it's really not resonating with people here you have killing marriages right you've mm -hmm. got i mean han solo ends up being a deadbeat dad i mean at least in the extended universe luke skywalker had a relationship with a woman named mara jade all right uh you know he Indiana Jones married Marion, and then you see where that where that ended up. These memes have been so on point lately; it's 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 been kind of crazy to see how many have just have um. And then and then the fact that like what also the other thing that Kathleen Kennedy has done is basically replaced every major uh, Lucasfilm character with a brunette female. Mm -hmm counterpart let's take a look here's one just visual is literally just a visual visualization of you know I, I really feel like when han solo i felt like han solo was going to come out that han solo was raised dad it felt like that's where they were at least mm -hmm. that isn't the case but they've all been replaced by brunettes with british accents how is this even it's it's crazy to me because this is such it's happening right before our eyes and of course when you try to point it out people say you're sexist for saying this you're sexist for saying I, I, we're just looking at like what happened it's objectively true 
Mm-hmm. I want to go to your comments and see what you think about this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Pilgrim Media too says, "Who's the producer in this operation?" Like, I I come from a business background, uh, from a marketing yeah. standpoint, and you know, it's always been here's a product. How do you sell that product? You find a way to connect with your audience, and then you hone in on that connection and you sell your thing. Uh, it doesn't feel like Hollywood does that anymore. They, it's the it feels like that their stories are the greatest ever, and you need to watch it. And if you don't spend your money and watch my movie, you know you're an ist of some sort. And, right, right. You know, and Raiders of the Lost Ark was was is the classic. You know, this is what boys and men wanted to have as a movie, and that's why yeah. we flocked to the theaters to go see it. And that's not happening anymore. What they're producing now. You know, I hate to say, it, I don't want to see it. Uh, you know, it's certainly not made for the young boys and the toy collectors out there. Yes, I know. I'm going to say the most misogynist thing ever, but it's true. It's like we don't want to produce movies, television, entertainment anymore for the male gender. And I'm sorry about that, but it's true. Um, so it's weird you know, to say that. And Pilgrim Media, thank you for the two. Who's the producer? I mean, it's obviously Kathleen Kennedy making yeah. the big picture decisions here this is really where where we are you know these how where do you go with these three franchises star wars willow and indiana jones it's an image of kathleen kennedy over a gravestone with Mm -hmm. star wars willow and indiana jones logos i mean it's how do you argue with that i just don't know if you took over let's say you're an executive and you take over lucasfilm what do you do yeah. I mean, well, with with Indiana Jones, it, it would have to be a hard reboot. You know, you just right. recast and and tell new stories in that time period. I mean, the stories you could tell during World War II, uh, and and Indiana Jones and the Nazi archaeologists. Um, there's just tale after tale after tale, and and there's a big world out there that you could go to. Willow, no one cares. Who cares about Willow? Uh, I. Certainly, no one, no fan of Willow, I, I, I believe, really wants to see more of that now. I mean, that movie was fine. I would put it in a category with like Krull, although I like Krull better. Mm-hmm. But Willow was fine. It was an, an interesting one off. It was different fantasy world. It's basically, you know, George Lucas riffing on uh, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, you know, on that world and that fantasy universe. But I think the thing that you do is you retire these brands and franchises mm-hmm. for a while, a couple years, yeah. two to five years, have them go away and come back with one good movie.